So, this is... Dementio's cooking show. <laughs> yeah, this is my first episode. So right now, as you can see, I'm just waiting. I got the chicken marinated in this sauce. I mean, this little seasoning I made. Um, spray we need non-stick so the wings don't stick this is my helper usually i'm my helper it's okay it's my show now now i'm going to place these wings onto the baking pan oh i know that was the girls <laughs> no that's why I sprayed. Oh no. Wait, I thought you were frying them. No, I'm not gonna fry them. I'll bake them. Wasn't I saying that would be that thing to do? Yeah, it's okay. So we can't make biscuits. We can make biscuits. After these are done. Now these look so yummy. They're gonna be great. No, not yet. I'm gonna wait for the chicken. on top of each other. Now I have aluminum foil and another pan for my biscuits. Letting the oven preheat. So, when did you put that on? Like two minutes. Well, it was like, so, like five minutes ago. So. Okay. Forty minutes. That's what it said. Yeah. And you have to flip that. No, but we can to get both sides. Yeah. set the water for the rice to boil and then we let it absorb for 25 minutes 25 minutes yes, sir. let's put the rice in you let it boil for one minute and then reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for 25 minutes 25 it smells really good in here actually it sure does oh yeah <laughs> about to enter these into the oven Woo! Bad boys over there. Oh, that looks real good. Set those in there for about 12 minutes. Move the other one over to the right. The biscuits to the right. Get the juices over there. And then slide it over to the Look at these bad boys. Ooh, that's hot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we have to see these. 
Look, look at those. those. Whoa. While we're waiting for the food, biscuits are done. I'm waiting on the rice and the chicken wings. What is this called? The show? Um, Beat Shazam. Beat Shazam, we're watching right now with Jamie Foxx as the whole timer for the rice just went off. So now we're about to check it. Give it a stir, baby. I'm gonna hug it. I just want to thank you guys for watching episode one of thank my you. quick baking cooking show. As um, you could see, we devoured it. Devoured. So good. Amazing. <laughs> what was your thoughts when I asked you to be my helper for my cooking show? Um, I was very excited because we cook together every night anyway, so it was fun to show some people how we um, get along together. Did you really think I could cook? Were you nervous when I was making the chicken and putting it inside the seasonings? No, because you've made the food before and it was delicious, so I was excited for that meal. What could we have made with the three ingredients that we use? other than the chicken, the biscuit, and the rice. Like that, that kind of combo. Like those three? Yeah. Um, I think we could have made like a quesadilla type of thing with the chicken, but make it like pulled chicken and mix that with the rice and fill that into the biscuit and pretend like the biscuit is a quesadilla and it could have been like a little sandwich. Okay, okay. If I weren't to ask you to make dinner with me or like be in my baking show what would you have made on your own what what type of chicken would you have made if i didn't decide to choose that onion garlic pepper chicken usually i make chicken with salt pepper garlic adobo and old bay but i was happy that we switched it up so that, that's more of your flavor I would say so. Do you watch any cooking shows? Like, what, what inspires you to cook? I watch a lot of shows on Netflix and Hulu. I watch Master Chef Junior with Gordon Ramsay. That's a good one. I watch the Spring Baking Championship, which is baking, but it inspires me to make better dinners. What's the difference between the two shows? Is it adults or is it? So Master Chef Junior is like kids between the ages eight and 11, but they cook like gourmet foods like steaks and fish. The Spring Baking Championship show is they have a kids edition and then an adult version. So I watch both because it's nice to see them cook from two different perspectives. Would you be prepared to be on the Master Chef show and the Spring Baking Challenge show? If they allowed you to have recipes on the show, I think so. I'm not that um, advanced yet where I could go in with no recipes or anything, just my brain, it wouldn't work out that well, but I would do it. What is like the main focus for that baking show? Like, is it like, do they throw things at you like off the top of their head or like, is it like structured where they give you objects and different fruits? For the baking show, every episode is different. So there'll be like a specific theme, like one day it'll be the rainbow, for instance, so you have to make a dessert that has every color of the rainbow in it, which is pretty hard if you think about it. But then other episodes, they have certain items where all the people have to race up to the front and grab which one they want and use that in their baking. So you can either get something that you really like or something that you're unfamiliar with, which could be a challenge, but it's very entertaining. If you ever get the opportunity to have your own baking show, would you do something like those shows that you, you watch? Or would it be totally different? I don't think I would have my own baking show. I'm not that, not that great at baking. <laughs> um, I could actually do a show that is like for bakers who aren't that good. And it's more like a funny show to see what they come up with. I would do that. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm.